Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So welcome back to my Setting Spray Wars. Today's episode four, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all of the videos down below for you. I'll be testing out eight drugstore setting sprays for your oily skin, and for each of these setting sprays, I will be testing them with liquid foundation and powder foundation. Let's get into setting spray number four, and that's gonna be the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This claims to be a non-comedogenic makeup extender, setting spray, and face mist for smudge proof all day looks. I tested the setting spray out for two days and day one is my first impression with liquid foundation. So let's roll the tape. So I just finished applying my makeup. I didn't do my mascara because I don't like to spray my face with anything just in case I get mascara transfer onto my hooded lids. So let's go ahead and do the smell test first. It kind of smells like skincare. I like it. Let's go and spray my face. Now let's go ahead and take my beauty sponge and press the setting spray into my skin. So I'm really liking the nozzle on the setting spray. I feel like it gave like a really wide range of spray. So it got all over my face, which is pretty nice. Now let's take a look at my face. I did bake today, so I used a lot of powder and I feel like the setting spray definitely emulsified all of that. So that's really, really nice. And I definitely look matte. Let's go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. Here is my forehead looking really matte and the left side of my face also looking really matte and the right side, same thing, also looking really, really matte. I actually have really high hopes for this one. But of course, the real test is to see how this makeup wears at the end of the day. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. It's now 10 hours, so let's go and take a look at my makeup. Okay, so my makeup is looking so good. It is still so matte, at least as matte as it can be after 10 hours here in the Texas heat. I am really, really impressed. I do see a bit of oil coming through, but just barely in the T-zone. I am honestly really, really shocked. I cannot believe how matte I am looking. So I do have some foundation that has lifted just around the nostril area, but I have been having allergies, so it is to be expected. But other than that, my makeup looks amazing. Let's go ahead and do a close up so that way you guys can just see all of this. Here's my forehead looking really, really good in between my eyebrows. The left side of my face, you can see just a little bit of oil, but really that's it. And then of course the same thing for the right side, just a bit of oil on the nose, but that's it. So day one is a success. Let's see how it works tomorrow with just powder foundation. I'll be back to let you guys know. Today's day two and I just finished putting on my powder foundation. So let's go ahead and put this to the test to see if it can emulsify all this powder. I'm gonna grab my beauty sponge and just press this powder or press this setting spray into my face. Okay, so I do see some spots on my foundation where my foundation has been lifted. I do see some spots in the cheek area and right here in the forehead area, but that's pretty much it. I don't think that they're noticeable at all. It's just because I'm really analyzing my makeup. I do feel like this setting spray has emulsified the powder foundation, which is really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. Here is what my forehead is looking like. You can see here, it's barely noticeable. That is where I see the foundation transfer. And the left side of my face, I do see just a few little spots with my foundation missing, but again, it is really not that noticeable. And then the right side of my face looking pretty good. Other than those two little areas, I really do think that my makeup looks really, really good and I am excited to see how this is gonna wear at the end of the day. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. Here we are 10 hours later. Let's go and take a look at my face. I am so impressed. My makeup is looking really, really good. I really only have oils just in the T-zone and everywhere else, it's pretty much matte. I am having a really good makeup day and you can't even tell that I've been wearing this for 10 hours. I'm shocked. I really, really am. I don't see any crease lines like in my smile lines. I don't see it in between my lip and my chin. 
I barely have some right in between my eyebrows, but that's it. Everything else is looking so, so good. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. So here's my forehead, barely any shine in the middle, in between my eyebrows. The left side of my face, barely any shine at all, looking so, so good. Same thing on the right side, barely any shine. Day two is a success. So this is the most expensive setting spray throughout this entire series. It's $16.99, but I honestly don't mind at all. This works so, so well. Now, not only does this mattify your makeup, but it also emulsifies your powder at the same time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've had some bad experiences trying to get super, super mattifying setting sprays to emulsify my powders, and it just didn't work out well but this one does both and it does it really, really well. Now L'Oreal products are on the higher end of drugstore prices, but it is worth every single penny. L'Oreal never disappoints. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite L'Oreal products are, whether it's makeup or skincare, let me know. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday at noon central time. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks, bye.